must have been about 2009 um, and it was a time in both of our lives where me and Shireen I'd say became enlightened and she came to me with her amazing idea and she had like secrets in the hood and um, it was almost she was watching a lot of um, a lot of documentaries about like celebrities who just get up one day or, or successful people you know they get up one day and they're like all right you know if you want to make your dreams come true you get up you quit your job no excuses and you make it happen so I think she went by that philosophy and she did she quit her amazing job good paid job and she had amazing ideas and she was making it happen and in the beginning she had a lot of funding because she had her money like and her savings from her job and I believed in her and I thought she was going to do it and then so she started with um, Keep It Real Productions which was the business the business idea and then Secrets in the Hood was going to be something separate like a DVD basically about the hood, where we live, where we grew up um, and just do like a documentary series and then she wanted to turn it into a movie and then Keep It Real Productions was more of the the whole business idea that she had and Keep It Real Productions oh there was so much that was going into it because even at the, I think at that time she was coming to my house a lot and me her and my sisters were sitting down and my sister Jadine didn't really help very much because she was like studying psychology and stuff so she used to like kind of I think at that time we started noticing that something was up but we didn't really know because it's your friend so one minute she's normal and then you're noticing something different about her but you can't put your finger on it and my sister kind of entertained it which used to piss me off a lot Jadine because she used to come with a psychological approach to everything and embrace everything whereas for me I was like well actually Shireen I think you need to slow down because even the whole thing with quitting her job I was like you sure she's like yeah babe I'm sure like I know it's gonna work and I did believe in her but I thought oh slow down and she didn't want to and JD encouraged it and I did embrace her encourage her but I just thought you know you need to take a few steps back and slow down a bit and um, that was the idea and she was doing like a visionary board for a business plan and stuff and then it didn't really take off to be honest until I guess she met you I didn't meet you Elliot um, she met Elliot and then you did some filming together and I wasn't around for any of that and um, I don't think it took off the ground as, sh as she would have hoped because during this period is like what, what her mum Maxine was saying is when she kind of got overwhelmed with all of the ideas she had in her mind and she couldn't control it and it kind of consumed her and took over her mind and that's when she started to get ill but S Secrets in the Hood was basically just to talk about our upbringing and the things that was going on around us and situations and interviewing the youth and kind of inspiring people. It was a big, big plan. And both the plans we had together, she wanted us to start this big, amazing business together because my whole thing was called All Things Positive, which was about kind of... All Things Positive was about inspiring people and working with people from all walks of life and kind of building up confidence. And so we were going to do a joint kind of venture. But for me, it was a, it's a progressive thing where I know it's something I will do in the future, but I know that I need to kind of build myself up financially and do other things in my life in order for that to happen. But we were going to do that together, but I think it just took over Shireen's life and um, it kind of took over Shireen's life and um, it didn't turn out to be planned but obviously with all the information that I know with all the information that her family know we could be able to maybe bring it to life more with the knowledge that we have and with some footage that you have and yeah you know what in a deeper level is secrets in the hood Secrets in the Hood is, is it's like, uh, Shireen would be the only one that would be able to explain it to you. Even though she explained her idea to me, it was just about <clears throat> everything that was going on in Hackney. And like, go, she wanted to help, I remember she wanted to help a lot of the young boys and give them some direction, give them something to do, which is why she did a lot of work in the community, in the Pedro Club. And she, she I never used to go with her. She used to go because, as I said, this is when she was getting ill. So she'd just be up and down, she'd be up bright and early, knocking my door, right? I'm going Pedro. She didn't even give me a minute to even say what I had to say. She knocked my door. All right, I'm going Pedro Club. Shall I speak to speak you later? And that's how it was. She was just off on one. She used to go and do her own thing. And she was working with James Cook. And she, she had so much ideas that you couldn't.
couldn't really grasp the full concept for me myself. I couldn't grasp the full concept, but I understood what she wanted to do. It was about empowering, inspiring, and opening up and showing people the community and the area where we come from. And she just wanted to bring change about and change people's lives and enlighten them. That's what she wanted to do. And she knew so many people. Like we were trying to organise interviews, and she managed to get uh, you know Ian, Ian Napper and uh, and Eric uh, Ochieng like, to uh, one former boxer, current boxer, and we did. Uh, she arranged the whole thing I just turned up with a camera yeah. you know so in the right in the right given the right structure you know she knew she knew exactly what she was doing but if it was maybe just her on her own it was it was a bit overwhelming of course it's like with anything everything's overwhelming when you're on your own she was her team at the end of the day she knew a lot of people she had a lot of contacts she was a very confident person she was a go-getter she knew she what she was gonna do and she knew she was gonna succeed in it but just just in life in general anybody when you're chasing your dream or something that you believe in when you're doing it on your own it is overwhelming and it can it can consume you and it can either it can make you or break you and for her it didn't necessarily break her but it was too much because you, when you're trying to make everybody understand your dream not everybody cares not everybody believes in it as you would believe in it and that's what I think it was for sure decided